Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Stalker Gamma Ecologist run, where we're playing Dr. Krominov, the ecologist who does not do assassination missions. Right, so, last episode, after a monumental <laughs> farming uh, session, which I uh, kept between episodes, we started doing the actual ecologist missions to hunt for artifact samples. So, uh, last, last one was in Dark Valley, where we had to take three artifacts, um, one from, I always forget what the anomalies are called, Glowing Pit, one from the bu Bubble Bath, and one from the Tunnel, which we managed to cheese a little bit. And we ended up back on the abandoned pig, pig farm, where between episodes I took what I had in the stash and uh, took it back home to Dead City, then made, our, made my way back to Garbage, where we have our next anomaly mission. Now, today we will continue with these missions and uh, we'll try and finish all the southern uh, anomaly missions before actually trying to take on the Brain Scorcher, so we can start moving on up. Now, I'm not sure what was next after Garbage, but uh, I'm pretty sure we still have army warehouses to do. Maybe Dead City, though I don't remember there being any there, and of course, Radar. So, that should be enough for us to play with this episode. And if we go to Radar, we might even clear the Monolith base. Just for fun, I guess. Also, if we clear it one day, it should be easier to get to the Brain Scorcher the next day. Though I'm not sure about that, I've never done it this way before. We also have two Golden Stashes in Radar, so if we make our way there, we might even get Expert Tools which would be amazing for us getting expert tools before even heading north. Wow. Right, but for now, we are in the garbage, we are in the crane hangar, and our main mission is to find Dr. I think Pirogov or Pigorov's assistant, which was last seen at the flea market. Now, he will be down below in the basement at the flea market, so We'll just go on and find him, find his PDA, which has the anomalies we have to find marked. Right. Yes, last episode we also did, uh, after the farming run, or during the farming run, we also did a lot of upgrades to our gear. And uh, thank you all for commenting two episodes ago. <laughs> saying it's okay for me to use the Monolith Cat 9. It's it's uh, a bit hard since ecologists don't actually have heavy armor at all, so I couldn't even exchange it. But we just went with it, and it's doing pretty good work. Okay, so first things first. Gonna grab something to eat on the way down. And does Butcher sell any water? Hmm, no he doesn't. So I might have to buy some water from the flea market, because I forgot to buy some when uh, when I came back here. It looks like I don't have Buckshot, but my shotgun's full with it, so... Not worried about bullets right now. Alright. So, straight to the flea market. There is a dock there, but I'm just gonna ignore it. Are you sure you want to do this, dog? Never mind, it's cat. Okay, so it should be right here. Even turn the flashlight on. We managed to get his PDA. Let's see what he had on him. Oh well. And there's a little stash here. 
might as well grab it since we're already here. Okay, let's see. Where are these anomalies? So, that's one of them. And then there's another one right here. Synapse anomaly. And... Uh, I think this was... Uh, I should have it discovered. Oh, that's the synapse anomaly. And this is witch's jelly. Mm, I don't really like witch's jelly. And we don't really have good chem resistance. 8% on my standard suit. And... 7% on this one. Yeah, this, this is gonna suck. We're gonna have to fix our armor after this. Okay, which is Jimmy. But before heading there, I would like to go the right. Where these um, big uh, crane weights are. Crane counterweights, whatever. Because I wanna check this area and have it cleared before do anything else. That's a bandit. That was a bandit. So I didn't have to kill him, but he was awfully close to the witch's jelly and I, 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 I just consider that to be like an, an impromptu clear the research area mission, right? Okay, so here it is, and the artifact right there on top of the crate. I don't even think we need protection here, but I will take some nonetheless. Let's see. Uh, uh, my brain's trying to, to think how to pronounce this. Chlor tetracycline. Okay gonna take some of this because there's another artifact there I think but the detector is leading us in a different direction and I would like to get that one as well Let's go nice and easy don't want to fall off from here okay that's the sponge and there's another one that way hmm. there we go a spike Another one. And a ring. Wait. Okay, we gotta run out of here. Okay, that was pretty good. The ring's only 21%, which kinda sucks. I have no idea where that one came from, but it scared the shit out of me. Whew. Right, so I'm gonna, even though I sh could have, uh, I could have not taken the ibuprofen to, to save some money. I'm just gonna take it because I know you guys, or at least that one guy in the comments, <laughs> hates it when I move a little slower. So we're gonna fix our leg. And gonna take some water. And you know what, since we're here, we could take a little trip there as well because there's bound to be some artifacts in there you know what i'm even gonna change suits on the way because this is full of burner anomalies and i just love it Ooh, a phantom star we have another one at home and it's it's a hundred percent. So we broken flashlight. We actually have three whole minutes of uh, 
invisibility. And a plan's beginning to hatch in my mind of uh, actually taking the brain scorcher the ecologist way. And by that I mean sneaking past the monolith. Because usually the brain scorcher would be an amazing, amazing uh, boost of gear because of all the monoliths you kill. But since we're not allowed to loot them, I'm not sure it's even worth killing them. Hmm, I'm thinking, could, could I make it out? Could I make it in the Green Scorcher in a minute and a half? And out after that in another minute and a half? I don't think so. That's a friendly. It's clear sky, maybe he wants to join us. No. Still no one wants to join us getting a little bit annoying. Okay, so this anomaly is pretty easy. It's just an electrical anomaly and uh... Nope. Doesn't wanna. Oh yeah, there's also this on top of you, but you don't even need to. You don't even need to crouch to get it. Oh my god, a generator. Nice. And that was it. There's also this stash that's been marked since forever having hard items in it, but it doesn't. Right, so we got a nice assortment of artifacts here. And... Uh, I think we're done with this mission, so we're gonna head back to Dark Valley and uh, talk to Dr. Pir Igorov. Pirogov? Oh, one of those two, I can never remember. But yeah, we're gonna have to talk to him again and uh, we'll see where he sends us next. Okay, here we are. Let's see what Pirogov has to say. I found your assistant. Seems he... I found your assistant. Seems he got attacked by bandits and turned into Swiss cheese. But I managed to recover his PDA and finish the job. Here you go, professor. What a shame. He was a good man. What a rotten way to die. Anyway, here is your reward. Finally, I can go back to the bunker and take a nice shower. Right, so he gave us a stash in the Croc Cemetery and 9,000 uh, uh, rubles, which is pretty nice. Do you have anything I, else I can help you with? This is all for now. If you want to help us further, then I will send you to a colleague of mine who would appreciate your help. I'll send you his location and let him know you're coming. Farewell, stalker. Alright, so we gotta find Professor Chernov. And he is going to be right here in the army warehouses. I'm sorry if you heard some noise. My cat was rubbing on the mic. <laughs> Come on, sit down, cat. Good girl. Okay, so we're gonna have to head to army warehouses. And I think I'll actually take a little detour through the truck cemetery since we have a stash here that we gotta recover for skin flint. And there's a couple of more stashes plus a yellow stash here. And we can just come out through, I think, here. And then we can recover the other stashes in... Um, 
in the uh, I always forget what this is called the freedom base um, also we gotta recover this for the mercs so we can actually um, do a few things around the army warehouses and on our way there so let's get on with it and here's some cats in the distance we're gonna have to go through the back again uh, through the back of the um, big cylinders so we don't run into more bandits it's actually a patrol of two now, nah, of course, they don't want to join us. Ecologists aren't the best companions anyway. But as I was saying, I, I wouldn't mind even if I had to pay for the companions, but... Just, just from a, a story perspective, it should... can hear some cats there somewhere probably behind the crux but yeah from a story perspective you'd think the ecologists would get more uh, a bit more um, companions trying to go with them to help as if you think about it it's it's not much that a that a guardian has to do because what it what 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 big deal do you have to protect for an ecologist bandits renegades and uh, mutants maybe and now what is that that was a lurker. And other than that, you just sit around at the bunker while they prepare their uh, their reports and maybe sit around with them while they research some anomalies. It feels like a really good a really good payday for pretty much nothing done. So yeah, I, I feel like it would be cool if the ecologists just had like one more friendly friendliness level for free from the start just so they could uh, get a few more companions okay here we are and i already hear a boar i think or flesh boar. <laughs> can't get the hang of these floors. Oh, that's bandits. And I'm caught in the open. What? The hell are these guys shooting? That, but... Oh, there's one inside there. Oh, 
Oh my. I managed to tag him a little bit. Oh, I'm just wasting bullets. Come on. Get over here. Let's, let's have a little talk, you and I. back and our rank improved that's pretty good that means we might have a chance to get more companions well more actually get some companions <laughs> uh, just got here cigarettes sparkling water And I think that was a medium sewing kit, which is really good. Okay, so what do we have to do here? Not gonna bother with those stashes. I don't really like uh, Bloodsucker Village. I'll just go straight for the old stash right here. And we're gonna have to buy some armory repair kits. Um, actually, let's fix this up while we still can. Yeah, that's where we'll still have to buy some armor repair kits from uh, the Freedom Mechanic. It's, it's better that we have them than not. Because with all the running through anomalies and uh, bandit fights and mutants, we're probably gonna need to repair them at some point or another. Gauss rounds is amazing. Um, just because it does give us a lot of money. I'm not gonna bother with this, those zombies. Okay, what's next? We also have an anomalous study to do here, but We'll also have to get to that anomaly a little bit later. Hmm. You know what? Let's go for that first. Put that back. Let's take everything. Now, I am kind of curious how that uh, ecologist died. Oh, halting at its finest. Two of them. Ooh, I would have liked that Saiga. Nope, nope, nope. Right. Senior researcher Chernov. Hey, I heard you might need a hand in your research. Aren't you an eager one? I hope you're not trying to plagiarize my work. Fuck you, guy. <laughs> Not at all, Professor. For now, all I'm interested in is money. And also plagiarizing your work. Anomaly... Anomalies most often... Anomaly most often chooses organic samples as a receiver of information. Something's wrong with this sentence. For example, wild anomaly animals or zombies that often die in them. This is how artifacts appear. Knowing the exact place of origin of the artifact, you can read it like a book or as a flash drive. I hope you haven't thought of throwing anything at anomalies yet. Very well. Let's see if you have what it takes then, shall we? In this area, which the locals call the army warehouses, there are many interesting anomalies that most stalkers simply try to avoid. Get me samples from the ones I marked on your PDA and then we can talk further. Okay, let's see. Uh, so, we've got the Burning Hell's Walls, which is the big burning house. There's also a stash in the basement of it. Actually, I think this is the burning house. Either way, there's going to be a, a fun little 
part trying to climb to it. We got the corpse disposer which is a chemical anomaly, and then we have the masher anomaly, which is right next to the bandits, and we have actually been to it before. So first thing, I kind of want to take the chest from the helicopter. I think we should have an outside resist. Hmm. We equip the suit, that is. Yeah. So that's actually the first thing I'll do. still have to take a little bit of a uh, air here because this area sometimes spawns very big, very angry mutants. No, 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 no. Okay, I, I gotta get some cover here. Yes. Okay, that went a little better than expected. Oh so, yeah, as I said, big angry mutants. It wasn't big, it was very angry. Also, controllers, I think, have a max range to their attacks, so if you're very far away, again, body has nothing. Mm. So if you're very far away, you shouldn't have a problem with them. Okay, so let's switch up our suits. Do I have any, anomal uh, any artifacts that reduce psi damage? Uh, doesn't look like it, so let's just put this back on, and I'm gonna drop that. Clean up our inventory just a little bit. Okay, and I'll I'll, I'll just go all out and take the uh, and take the side block. And dissonance removal, we can do a glucose shot. Should buy a couple more of these just to have on me uh, in case we run out of food or stuff like that. Okay, so helicopter. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Even with all these, all this... Uh, I resist, we still took so much psi damage. That's a dude here. Are these the guys that fought the chimeras maybe? Let's let's have an energy drink. Maybe it'll, it'll remove some of the dizziness. Yeah, much better. Okay, and we can put our armor back on. Okay, so ooh, boy, this this does some uh, has some really long range, and we're out of chloro tetra blah 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 blah. So we're just gonna take some antidote, I guess too happy about this. Right, so the um, artifact's gonna be right there in the house, but there's also this mission with the anomalous study. So let's equip our measurement device, and I'm gonna do the mission first, and then the other thing. <laughs> Luckily, while we're in here, oh, we are still taking a lot of damage. Uh, gonna have to use another med, I think. 
Yes. Come on. One more. Oh. And here's the sponge. We're taking a lot of damage. Okay, no other artifacts. We are out of here. Ah, I didn't hit the tree. It would have been better. Uh. Oh. Holy crap. But that's why I'm saying we need to get a suit that has really good cam resist because uh, our actual uh, armors don't don't really work that well against it. Just gonna use some duct tape for port repairs and I'm actually gonna use this with a hammer. Right? Okay, that's one artifact down. So remember, have good chem resist in here and have some really, really good meds on hand because even with good chem resist, you'll still have to make up for the stupid amount of damage you take in that anomaly, even while just running in and running out. Oh, snorks. Snork hand? This guy doesn't have anything for me. I'm not sure where those Yukiers um, that fought the Chimeras are, but... Okay. Next to this one and this one, I'm gonna do a quick path by Army where by the Freedom Base first, because I really wanna uh, get some repairs done. Okay, so the artifact we're looking for is right in that truck over there. Uh, this is always a funky place to be. East, there's no radiation this time. And there's another one. Oh, there's the rats. As long as they don't pull me in completely, we should be okay. Okay. Yeah, it's probably an artifact that I can't really detect. Really need to upgrade the detector to, to be able to find those. Okay, next up. Hell's Anomaly. I heard something there. Now, we do know there were some duties that got absolutely murdered by a chimera and I'm expecting the chimera to still be around unless they actually manage to kill it oh okay oh yeah they did it was a red chimera too oh for a moment there, I forgot we can't uh, pick up stuff from the stalkers. I love this gun. Like this, this is amazing for the end game. But well, he has a boar belt, and we'll take all the other stuff. A file, armor-piercing bullets. That's good. Grab everything from here. And oh, there was a bloodsucker here as well. Uh, could I please? Oh, great. I'm gonna 
try to move the body a little bit so I can get past. There we go. Bloodsucker doesn't have anything. Okay, so this is the burnt house right here. And the stash in the stove, it's inside. But the artifact, you can actually see it right there. It's on the roof. So we're gonna get our infinite fire resist armor on. And you know what? I'll put the boar belt on as well. Okay. Pull out our crusty detector. And get up there. I think we could use the vaulting to cheese it, but normally you're supposed to go this way and not fall down like I just did. Okay, let's, let's do it right this time. Up, down we go. And I think I can make it just... Oh! There is the magnet. How did that guy hit me? Die, you piece of shit snake. That's broken flashlight, that's good. Okay, we're gonna have to heal again. We wouldn't have taken as much damage if we had our actual Scat 9 on us, but... Okay, I never remember where those fireballs are going, so... I'm gonna try to stay away from them. And 96%, you know what, I think we're good. Just gonna run straight in, and it's in the stove. So it should be here. Good. And we can get out. Here we go. One batch of shiny dirt. Great. As promised, here's your payment. Now, is there anything you want to know in particular? I wondered how you even know where these strange artifacts will appear. Well, our research group is actually part of... Circa. Okay. That was... Something. Bloodsucker. Yeah, you, you go on ahead. That was another mission. Oh, uh, Bloodsucker Pelt? That's actually not bad for bleeds. Hell, I could I could even put it on right now. And it should cure the bleeding I've got. Oh my poor legs. So yeah, these these are the consequences of having a bad day, bad aim day in stalker. You waste eight eight charges of ibuprofen for just silly little uh, leg attacks. Okay, so let's see. What was this ecologist saying? I don't think he'll. Right. So our research group is actually part of the Circa, S-I-R-C-A-A. -A. 
the Scientific Institute for Research of the Chernobyl Anomalous Area. We are continuously studying the zone to find a way to destroy it, or at the very least control it. We learned a lot thanks to the information provided by local stalkers and our own excursions. We even have preliminary anomaly maps for some areas. Using that information and the data from our scanners, we can deduce the likelihood of artifacts forming. Interesting. So that's how you know where to send me all the time. Precisely. However, our next task will require caution. I don't want you to get killed after all. You seem to be a good assistant so far. I tasked a particular stalker with investigated some investigating some anomalous fields in the Red Forest. Unfortunately, he seemed to have gone missing. The last location he messaged me from was the collapsed tunnel at the bridge in Limansk. Go and find his PDA, which contains the scan da data I gave him, and find the remaining samples. I must warn you, however, I have lost many friends and colleagues to the rest forest, so please be careful. Oh boy, Red Forest. Uh, he, he's lost many of friends and colleagues. I've lost many an Invictus run in there. <laughs> uh, right. So, the next mission, we're gonna have to go do the bridge right here. So, we're gonna have to deal with the guys at the tower. And then, if I remember right, one anomaly is going to be right in the middle here. Um, one anomaly is going to be in the Sin uh, underground uh, base. And I don't remember where the last one is. Plus, there is a dangerous mutant to hunt there. So, uh... What I'm going to do next... Hmm... Yeah, what I'm going to do next is... Um, at the radar. For which we're going to have to do the mission with Gatekeeper, which I think we can do right now. I have some AP ammo. Let's see if there's some Freedom guys over there, because... If we've got freedom support, that mission will be so much easier. But if it's just me and Gatekeeper, mm, it's 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 a little bit scary. I, I won't lie. Right, fix that up. Yo, oh, Poltergeist. Uh, somewhere around there. Let's sit still a bit until we can actually see it. It's so hard to shoot these things sometimes. Okay, lurker. Two lurkers. Okay, a lurker and chimera. That's alright, we can deal with the Chimera. What you do is, when it jumps, you pause the video and you like and subscribe. And leave a comment. <laughs> but yeah, all you have to do is uh, either sideways jump or just uh, sidestep. And then you can take your time, aim. Okay, not like that though. Right. That poltergeist is so distracting. Oh yeah, bring it here. Come on. Thank you. After all that work, the body has nothing. 
And uh, kind of annoying that there's so many rats here. Because I can't see anything down there. Okay, where do the, mm, the rats would clear around here? Also, it's foggy. Mm. Well, can't control the weather, Karen. Oh, here we go. Oh, crap. Who are they fighting? Well, there's an emission as well, and uh, Monolith, from what I remember, can survive emissions. We got one. Okay, let's let's get in here. This was the worst moment to have an emission. <laughs> done. Gatekeeper doesn't even need to get in. He's uh, such a chad that uh, the emission doesn't affect him. When when Gatekeeper stays out in the mission, Gatekeeper doesn't get zombified, the emission gets Gatekeeper. Okay, let's see what our monolith friends dropped for us. Of course, we can't take weapons and armor, but at least maybe some bullets. I wouldn't mind. And you, in the end, there were some freedom guys that... Ooh, grenade, nice. Oh, I would have loved that weapon. The RPK is actually pretty good. Yeah, there were some freedom guys around here. And we got a pretty okay sight. Don't really like the EOTech or the ACOG, but uh, takes a lot of the field of view. But um, another one. But when you don't have anything else, it's uh, better than the iron sights, I think. Okay, grab this, grab that. There should be more. Ah. I would have loved this gun as well. Why does so much cool stuff drop when I uh, can't loot it? Alright. Another Freedomer here. And also... A PDA, which we'll check right now. No stashes. I'll take just a little bit for it to get light again. And there's usually one monolith that spawns around here on the hill. I'm guessing the freedom guy killed him. But we're still gonna look. There he is. Ah, uh, another weapon I would love to have, but can't. But that's that, I think. Oh, he's close.
Got him. Well, better a controller than a Chimera. Where was it though? Was it on top of the truck? Oh, that's that's big. Controller scalp, big. And 73%. That's amazing for psychic resistance. Okay, but we're gonna have to take another one of these. Get the better ones. Just because there's gonna be a lot of rats here, I think. And let's see what's in this stash here. Just advanced tools. Mm. What kind of... Oh, historic. Oh, we could get it. We have a Mauser, a standard Mauser at, at home, but uh, this one's upgraded, so might as well just take it. Okay, here's the stash. If you heard mewling, that was my cat. And KS-23, don't care about that. I don't like that shotgun, but this was it, and we're just gonna run straight back. Alright, so we're back in the Freedom Base and Army Warehouses. I just uh, ran back, didn't uh, have to engage anything on the way. So, uh, yeah, this is gonna be it for this episode, so let's go over it one more time, real quick. So, we started up in uh, the garbage, in the train hangar, where we did the anomalies over there, got the um, uh, PDA of the dead assistant, did the, did the free anomalies in garbage, then went to uh, Dark Valley, where the, the ecologists there sent us to army warehouses, on the way, we picked a lot of stashes from Croc Cemetery. Well, a lot, like four of them. Then, ended up in army warehouses. We also did a good stash run over there, finished an anomaly mission, finished some uh, mutant uh, hunt for a bloodsucker, met the controller, met the chimera, dealt with them. Uh, yeah, sorry again for my horrible aim today, but uh, it all worked out in the end. We got a lot of stashes here. We finished the mission with the anomalies in the army warehouses as well. We had the burning house. We had the um, chemical anomaly here in the lake by the Freedom Base and the gravity anomaly right here to the west of the Freedom Base next to the duty outpost. And we went back our next artifact mission will be in red forest but right at the end of the episode because i was really curious i took a quick trip to radar because we did have two golden stashes there they didn't drop any tools unfortunately but we did get a mauser 90k forester and we do have a fully repaired standard mauser at home so we could probably repurpose this one I'm not sure which one's better, but I'm guessing this one will be uh, a little bit better since uh, it does have a better scope, maybe? And also we can put a suppressor on it, if we get an adapter, of course. Uh, other than that, we got a bloodsucker mm. pelt, we got a controller scalp, so yeah, our gear is doing better and better. But this will be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and in the next episode, we will either do Brain Scorcher or go to Red Forest. I think I might want to do Brain Scorcher first. So yeah, that's it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you all next time.